The world's biggest miner, BHP Billiton, has joined arch-rival Rio Tinto in announcing record first quarter iron ore production. However, whether that record production continues to drive record profits could be determined by a newly aggressive approach from China on the price it pays for iron ore. Andrew Robertson reports. The big miners, it seems, can't get enough iron ore out of the ground fast enough. Last week it was Rio, now it's BHP's turn to reveal the extent to which it's working overtime to meet the seemingly insatiable demand from China. BHP is at the top of its game in terms of maximising both production and shipments at a time when demand for its products are very strong and also at a time when uh, prices are still very robust. Iron ore production in the quarter was just under 40 million tonnes, a 24% increase on the September quarter last year. Shipments from BHP's expanding Pilbara operations were up 28% to a record high as the company literally dug into its stockpile to meet demand. In fact, in the current climate, Gavin Wendt believes BHP can sell as much iron ore as it can get out of the ground and then some. Despite the negativity that's around in the international economy at the present time, China's demand for iron ore is, is still very robust and indeed iron ore prices are still very solid too. However, after a number of years of being on the receiving end when it comes to price, China is trying to fight back by becoming more aggressive in its negotiations with suppliers like BHP Billiton. The Chinese Iron and Steel Association is largely a political body and it's under enormous pressure to reassert absolute control over price negotiations. Now, the only way it can do that is to convince domestic steel mills that it can strong arm external suppliers. And while it's worked to a certain extent with iron ore spot prices falling 10 to 15 per cent in the past few weeks, Dr Lee points out that China's bargaining power is very limited. Because of declining export markets, fixed investment is even more dominant as a driver of Chinese GDP growth. And for that reason alone, the uh, demand in China will continue to remain steady, if not rise. Which means BHP and the other big iron ore suppliers, such as Rio Tinto and Brazil's Vale, will continue to have the upper hand in price negotiations. But while iron ore is looking exceptionally good for BHP, other parts of its portfolio are not in such rude health. For example, crude oil production was down 14 per cent. We certainly think that it does put some pressure on what is one of their very key strong earnings growth uh, product groups and we do think that that's the reason why when they looked at uh, expanding like, that group they particularly concentrated very quickly on product purchases that would bring production into or on stream very quickly. It's a similar story in base metals where production of lead, zinc, gold, silver and the biggest contributor to earnings, copper, were all also down. There we saw weakness both at Escondita where they've had major problems in terms of operational issues, staffing issues, but also they've had major problems in terms of, of grading and accessing ore. Which according to David Lennox all adds up to solid but not spectacular profit growth when BHP reports its first half results early next year.